Welcome back to another In an Instant with Crystal D. Today's on my menu is spaghetti squash. Now normally I'm not a big fan of it, but I thought, okay, I've tried it baked. Why not, not try it steamed in my Instant Pot? So this is what you're going to need for the recipe. You're going to need your trivet, which came with your Instant Pot. It's just a rack you stick things on so it doesn't burn or stick to the bottom of your pot. You're going to need a three to four pound spaghetti squash. You're going to need broth of your choice or water. It's your choice what you want to use to steam your steam in your Instant Pot. I'm using veggie beef broth that I homemade yesterday. You're going to need a half a teaspoon of rosemary. And I'm just using dried from my garden. And a seasonings of your choice. I'm just using onion, garlic, and Cajun. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get everything in the pot and I will show you what's next. So I have my spaghetti squash in my instant pot on my trivet. I have removed all the seeds from the inside of my spaghetti squash. So I'm going to add my one cup of liquid to the bottom. And I'm not going to pour it on the squash. I'm going to pour it along the side to make sure that it all goes on the bottom and not on it. So what I'm going to take next is a little bit of oil. I'm just using a little bit of canola oil. And I'm going to brush the inside very lightly with the oil. Now this is an optional step. I'm doing it to ensure that my spices are going to stick to the inside of my spaghetti squash. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my spices that I have and sprinkle them on top. Remember it's just onion, garlic, and Cajun seasoning, rosemary. And then I'm going to ooh, not hit my stove. close my instant pot put it on ceiling now you're going to hit your pressure cook button you're going to go all the way up to seven minutes it's going to be on high pressure and we will be back when we need to release the pressure so as you can see my time has said you know it's been two minutes I let it naturally release for two minutes I'm going to quick release with the rest now you're some people hit it with their fingers, some people don't. I prefer to do this. The steam can get very hot, so be very careful. So what we're going to do is we're going to let this release, and we'll be back and show you what it looks like. And there you have it. So I have checked for the specific doneness. We like it kind of a little bit of a texture, not mushy. So I've done that and it is done to our liking. So you're just going to scrape it. You're going to serve whatever you would like on top of it. I'm going to just put a little bit of butter and serve it with supper. Now stay tuned for part two of this video where I'm going to turn these potatoes into a creamy side dish hope you like this video give it a big thumbs up comment and subscribe and have yourself a wonderful day welcome back to another in an instant with crystal D today is part two of my vegetable series now today what I'm doing is mashed potatoes in my instant pot and I am changing it up a little bit not much so what you're going to need is you're going to need one to two pounds of your favorite potato that you use for mashed potatoes. I'm using some red skinned potato that I've peeled. You're going to need a third of a cup of margarine or butter. I'm using margarine. You're going to need a fourth of a cup of, I'm using Hellman's mayo. You can use mayonnaise, Miracle Whip, whatever you choose. You're going to need three chopped green onions, a half a teaspoon of salt, a tablespoon of parsley flakes, and a half a spoon or half a tablespoon each of garlic and onion powder. So I'm going to load the potatoes into my instant pot and I'll be right back. So I have my potatoes loaded in my instant pot. You want to just cover it with water just till it's just covering the potatoes. You're going to want to take your salt. And lightly sprinkle it over the top just salting the water 
you're going to want to close your instant pot and you're going to make sure that your nozzle at the top here is on sealing make sure that your button is down you're going to want to hit pressure cook or manual whatever you have and you're going to go all the way down to seven minutes now just give it a minute and it should beep and then it'll come start coming up to pressure okay now it's starting to pressure and when the seven minutes are up we will be back and we will see what they look like so my instant pot has said it's naturally released for a minute that's fine you're going to release whatever pressure is left in your pot i'm using a fork to knock it over i'm still afraid of the steam it's natural response to it so we're going to release the pressure and we will be back to show you what it looks like So as you can see, my potatoes are fully cooked. I have done the fork test. They're tender enough where I can mash them. So here's where it cuts, you know, optional for you. You could use a potato masher, you can use a food processor, you can use multiple different items just to mash it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to save a little bit of the liquid that I cooked my potatoes in. I'm going to drain these and come back and show you what I'm going to do. So here I have my potatoes all drained. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to add all my ingredients to the pot. I'm going to add my mayo and my butter or margarine, whatever you choose. I'm going to add my garlic and onion powder to it. I'm going to add my parsley flakes and I'm going to add my green onions. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to use my immersion blender. And I'm going to blend it up and then I'm going to slowly add some of the cooking liquid to it as I'm blending it so it gets nice and smooth. And we'll be back when it gets nice and smooth and I'll show you what it looks like as a finished product. And there you have it. Easy creamy herb mashed potatoes we're gonna have this as a side dish tonight and I'm going to repurpose this for another meal tomorrow if you like this recipe the recipe for this will be in the description if you like this video give it a big thumbs up comment and subscribe and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day bye for now